again, a real quick follow-up. I had mentioned in the other video about uh, automating the modulation of the pitch of the modulator that we were talking about in our little simple FM scenario. So here's the simple FM scenario again. Sine wave. A sine wave modulating the sine wave. And we were cranking that up and down, doing fun stuff. And I said, gee, wouldn't it be great to be able to automate that or modulate that? And it just, I was being stupid at the time. Of course you can modulate that. At least you can modulate this uh, fine tuning on it by using the LFO or using the pitch envelope. So here, let's show what happens here. Take the LFO. When I select the LFO, I get a choice of destinations here. I'm going to have LFO modulating B. It's this guy here, and that's going to be modulating the uh, pitch of that. Ready? Listen. Turn it off. Turn it on. Okay, that's the same thing as doing this. That's one way of doing it. The other way, of course, instead of using the LFO, I'll use the pitch envelope. And right now my pitch envelope isn't doing anything too crazy, but I'll send it, send it destination. It's going to be there. So this will be just kind of funky, turning this fine tuning up and down. Still haven't figured out how to get the kind of coarse one, which is kind of fun because the, the coarse one, it, it just keeps everything hopping up and down on harmonic intervals, um, which is kind of cool. But I haven't seen a way to tweak that one yet. Maybe there's like a way, certainly probably a way with like Max for Live or something like that would get really advanced. Um, but for now, let's just uh, say, well, at least we can modulate this one easy enough using the LFO or using the pitch envelope, All right? Great, okay, that's it for now. Just wanted to follow up because I promised I would and have fun modulating. Talk to you later, bye.